Hello friends, in this video I shall take up some important problems of uh, distance and speed and this is the upstream and downstream motion of boats. Let us see whether this is a problem of quadratic equations or a problem of linear equations. So the first problem goes like this. There is a boat whose speed in still water is 18 km per hour and that boat takes 1 hour more to go 24 km upstream than to return downstream. So while going it is going upstream and obviously by, um, uh, it takes more time while going upstream than to return downstream and the difference between the times of the two motions is given as 1 hour and the distance is 24 kilometers so we need to find the speed of stream now what do we do in such cases see speed of boat in still water this is given as 18 kilometer per hour and we need to find the speed of stream so let speed of stream let us assume this as x kilometer per hour. Now in the questions of upstream and downstream, these two speeds are not used directly, but we have to convert them into speed upstream or speed downstream. So what happens when it moves upstreams? So that implies speed upstreams is always equal to the difference of motion of uh, the speed of boat in still water and the speed of stream because when it moves upstream the river is flowing in the opposite direction uh, to the direction in which the boat is moving so it retards or decelerates the motion thereby subtracting the speed of stream from the speed of boat so this is the speed of boat when it moves upstream and when it moves downstreams speed downstreams Obviously, when it moves downstream, it is moving along with the flow of the river. Therefore, the speed of boat in still water and the speed of stream, both of them get added together to give the net resultant speed of the boat. So, these are the two speeds which will be used because the boat is either moving upstream or it is moving downstream. Now, distance is given in the question. It is 24 kilometers. So what formula we are going to use to find the speed of the stream? There is a difference of 1 hour between the time taken while going upstream and while going downstream. So we are going to use the formula of time which is distance upon speed. Now see which time will be more when the boat is going upstream or when the boat is going downstream? Along the downstream, the speed is more, so the time taken is less. So that time will come in the later half of the equation. So let us take the time to go 24 km upstreams. So distance is 24 km divide by speed. Speed upstream is 18 minus x. Now what does this represent? This represents the time taken to travel 24 km upstream. So distance is 24 km and speed is 18 minus x. And there is another time, distance is same. So while returning it is coming downstream. So downstream speed is 18 plus x. So between these two, you know, this time is less and this time is more. And the difference between the two times is given in the question as 1 hour, 1 hour more. So the difference is 1 hour. Now we have to solve this equation in order to get the value of x which will be our speed of stream. So very easy. Now let us simplify this. In the denominator we will have a minus b, a plus b that is a square. So 324, 18 square minus b square which is x square. And obviously 24 is common, so 24 into this is 18 plus x, then we have this negative sign in between, so 24 into this, so sign will get changed, so 18 plus x equal to 1, so here we have 18 which gets cancelled, 
thereby giving us 324 minus x square which gets cross multiplied with 1 and in the numerator we will have x plus x 2x into 24 that is 48x. So this will give us a quadratic equation. Take the terms to the right hand side x square plus 48x minus 324 equal to 0. Now this is the quadratic equation which is framed in the question and once we are aware of the factors then we will be solving this easily and the factors for these two this equation is okay difference of uh, 48 and product of 324 so it has to be somewhere around 48 only because uh, 50 into okay difference of 48 so 50 into say uh, 2 is 100 100 is uh, not required here so 51 into uh, 3 51 and 3 difference is 48 again it, the product is not 324 52 into 4 no 53 into 5 no 56 into 4 56 into okay 8 56 into 8 can we just check that 56 into 8 it is the 48 no the product will not be 324 so there has to be some other solution for this and uh, 56 okay 54 what about 54 difference is 48 so 6 6 for the 24 30 32 yes this is what was required so 54 and 6 so plus 54 minus 6 and here you have the factors x plus 54 and x is common here and 6 is common here so thereby giving you x equal to minus 54 this has to be rejected because speed cannot be negative and x is equal to 6 from here this is the answer therefore the speed of stream comes out to be 6 km per hour in this case now this is the method of solving the question uh, I will take one more question uh, of the same kind and uh, I will try to solve it in minimum amount of steps. Mathematics ke questions karte vakt bohut se questions aise hote hain jo hume problem create karte hain to aap kya karte hain us samay par koi na koi aapko chahiye jo aapke un doubts ko clear kar paaye kyon na ek aisa solution nikal liya jaye jisse ki wo doubts ghar baithe bina kisi ke paas jaye bina kisi ki help ke clear ho jaye yes मैं रिकमेंड करता हूं डाउटनेट डाउटनेट ऐप डाउनलोड कर लीजिए और कोई भी क्वेश्चन हो जो आपको प्रॉब्लम क्रिएट कर रहा हो उसको जस्ट उसकी फोटो खींच के सेंड कर दीजिए और आईआईटीएन एक्सपर्ट्स द्वारा बनाई गई वीडियोस के थ्रू आपको उस क्वेश्चन का सॉल्यूशन उसी समय मिल जाएगा मेरी टेस्ट की हुई ऐप है और मैं स्ट्रांगली रिकमेंड करता हूं अपने सारे सब्सक्राइबर्स को कि वो डाउटनेट ऐप को डाउनलोड करें और जितने भी अपने डाउट्स हैं उनके रेडी सॉल्यूशंस अपने घर बैठे उसी समय पे प्राप्त करें चाहे वो क्वेश्चंस आपके कॉम्पिटिटिव एग्जाम्स के हों चाहे एन किताबों के हों या कोई भी रिफ्रेशर बुक्स के हों मैंने ये देखा है कि जो भी सॉल्यूशन आपको चाहिए वो वीडियो की फॉर्म में आपके पास आ जाता है तो डाउटनेट ऐप को आज ही डाउनलोड करें और अपने सारे डाउट्स को क्लियर करें तो दिस इज अनदर क्वेश्चन ऑफ सिमिलर नेचर only one difference is it goes 30 km upstream and returns back in 4 hours 30 minutes so this is the total time which is given so in the previous question i have taken comparative time but here it is the total time so instead of subtracting we need to add the two times in this case other things remaining the same so what is given speed of boat in still water this is given as 15 kmph and you have to assume speed of stream as x kmph and this will give you speed upstreams as 15 minus x I am doing it quickly because I have already explained the concept to you in the previous question and speed downstreams will be 15 plus x kmph 
and the distance given in this case is 30 kilometers and the formula to be used is distance upon speed now distance is 30 and while going it is going upstream so upstream speed is 15 minus x and while returning it is coming with a speed of 15 plus x and the total time given is 4 hours plus 30 minutes what is 30 minutes 30 minutes is half hour so this comes out to be 9 upon 2 hours so i have converted 4 hours 30 minutes to hours so this is 9 upon 2 and if you can see here we have a common factor 3 which is being cancelled throughout in all the terms so this will remove the complexity of the equation so now just take lcm this is 225 minus x square so in this 10 is common so here you have 15 plus x plus and here you have 15 minus x and this is 3 upon 2 so x gets cancelled here so you can cross multiply this to get the equation this is 675 minus 3x square equal to okay this is 15 into uh, 15 plus 15 is 30 30 300 300 and into 2 is 600 so very simple equation here 3x square comes out to be 675 minus 600 thereby giving you the value of x square 75 upon 325 so the value of x comes out to be square root 25 means 5 therefore the speed of stream comes out to be 5 km per hour see friends in the first question we have got a quadratic equation that was little bit difficult uh, because the middle term splitting was difficult but when you are given the sum of the two times the total time is given then the equation becomes very easy because the term containing x gets cancelled thereby giving you a very simple equation to solve so friends this is for all class 8th 9th 10th students and for all types of competitions ssc CGL, then uh, uh, you know, bank PO and uh, CTET, NTSC. Every exam, you know, this upstream downstream concept is used comprehensively to frame questions. So, if you like this video, do share it with all those students who are aspiring to clear competitions, and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more such amazing videos to come in future. Also.